Local administrator password allows us to save the local administrator passwords of our servers and our clients onto Active Directory, and they can automatically rotate every 30 days or whatever works best for you for added security. So I'm in a website at Microsoft.com. You can just put in 46899 for the knowledge base article, and then you'll get this page. And you could also just do a search for LAPS download. And I'll click Download. And I want to make sure I get the right one. I'm using the X64, which is going to be what probably most of you will be using as well, which is just your Intel-based type of processor. And now we see LAPS has been downloaded. And now I'm going to run through the installation. So this is not a server role or a role service or a feature that you can install. You have to download this first from Microsoft. So I'll click Next, and I'll accept the terms. And I'll want to make sure I turn on everything. So I'll to choose to uh, install everything on the local hard drive. And after selecting all of those, I'll click Next and Install. And it usually just takes a few seconds, and it's all ready to go. Now I'm going to go down to the Start button. And this is on a Windows 2022 server. And choose Laps UI. And this will also work on older ones as well. So here you can see that the password is currently blank. The password expires. This, this is what we're going to be running on the clients and the other uh, servers, the member servers, in order to make sure that we can go ahead and see what their password is. I'm logged into the domain controller, and there's really no reason that we need to do this on a domain controller because there is no local password on domain controllers. I'm going to go ahead and launch my server manager. And from here, go to Active Directory Users and Computers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a special OU where I'm going to drop my computer into that OU. And I'm going to do a Windows 11 computer, but this will also work on servers and Windows 10 and that kind of thing. So I'll choose to create a new organizational unit. I'm going to apply a group policy to it, and I'll just call it Clients. And there's my clients. I'm going to choose Computers. And I'll move my client right into the client's OU. Now, you can do this at the root level if you'd like. But if you don't need laps on all your computers and servers, that's why you'd want to create a special OU and just apply the group policy just to that particular OU. The next thing I want to do is I want to create a group. And I'll just do it in the same OU as the clients. But you can pretty much put it anywhere you want. And I'll choose to create a new group. And it's going to be a security group. And I'll just leave it with a global group scope. And it's going to be called LAPS. And I'll click OK. And now I want to add the client computer into that group, because I'm going to be running some PowerShell commands, and I need to make sure that that's in there. So I'm going to choose to add in computers, and then put in my client. Now I need to go and run some PowerShell commands. So what I've done is I've pasted them here into this notepad. And I'll put this in the comments section as well. So what I have here is I need to import this particular module for the ADM password and then update that schema. Then I'm going to be running this set ADM computer self permission, and then you've got the read password permission, etc. And it's going to be tied to my clients OU that I just created. So you can see it's going to be true of all three of these commandlets. And then on the DC or domain side, you want to make sure that you put in your correct domain. So don't just paste what I have here, you need to replace that with your domain and with whatever you called your particular OU if it's something other than clients. But the rest of this can all stay exactly as it is. So I'm going to open up a PowerShell, and I'll do that as administrator. And then I'll paste each one of these in. And I'll start with the first one, the import commands. Otherwise, those commands won't be there. And then we're going to update the schema. And it's faster if you do this on the schema master if you have multiple different domain controllers. And now I'll paste in the three commandlets. Sometimes when you paste these in, they don't always include all the switches and everything else. But you may have to just go ahead and add those in. 
Now I'm going to choose the next one. And once again, I'll have to add in the quotes. And I'll do the last one. And those are all done. Next, I need to go into File Explorer and create a shared folder. And that shared folder is going to contain the LAPS program that I downloaded earlier. So I'll just create a new folder and I'll call it Install. But you can name it anything that you'd like. And now I'm going to go ahead and share it. I'm just going to share it with all domain users. But you may decide to lock that down to specific people. I'm going to remove everyone because it has to be a domain user in order to make this work. Click OK, OK, and then security-wise, just want to make sure that we have matching. Now I'm going to drop that program from downloads into the install folder. And just to make sure that that worked correctly, I'm going to put in the UNC path to make sure that it shows up. There's the install folder. We're good. Now I'm going to go to group policy. And to do that, I need to go into server manager. And from server manager, I'm going to go into the group policy management console. So I'll go to tools. And then I've got my clients OU already there. So I'm just going to right click and choose to create a new group policy object and link it here. And I'll call it LAPS. And I'm going to right click and edit it. So I need to push out the LAPS client to these computers. And we can get there by going to Computer Configuration, Policies, and then Software Settings. Then go to Software Installation. And I'm going to choose that package using that UNC path. So I'll put in backslash, backslash, then followed by the name of the server. And there's my install folder. And there's my LAPS file. And I'll go ahead and choose assigned. If you choose assigned, it'll automatically get installed right to the client. At this point, you can go ahead and restart the Windows 11 computer, and it will go ahead and install that program. But I'm going to make some additional changes here as well. I'm in the Windows 11 computer, and I'm going to restart and go back to the server. Now I'm back in the server. I'm still going to stay in the Computer Configuration and Policies section. But this time, I'm going to go to Administrative Templates, and then LAPS, and then Password Settings. And here I'm going to set up, by enabling it, the password length and the password age for LAPS on those computers, or any computers that might be in that OU. So the password complexity is going to be the highest, and you've got the length and the age. I'm just going to go ahead and leave those exactly as they are. And I'm going to go to Do Not Allow Password expiration time longer than the required policy. So it's going to go to 30 days before it resets. Then I'll go to Enable Local Admin Password Management and choose to enable that as well. And we definitely want to have this enabled so the local administrator password is now going to be managed using Active Directory. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go over to my Windows 11 computer and make sure that that program has been installed. And we can check that out by going to the Start button and clicking on Settings. And then when Settings opens up on the left-hand side, you're going to click on Apps. There's my Apps. And then I'm going to look at Apps and Features. This will tell us whether or not the LAPS program has been installed on this computer by being pushed out through Group Policy. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see the local administrator password solution has been installed. So now the next thing is to go to the server, back to the server where we installed LAPS, and then we can find out what the current password is and when it's going to expire. Now I'm back in my server. Let's see if we can manage the local password. 
of the Windows client from my server. And again, it doesn't matter if the client is a Windows 11, 10, or even another Windows server. So all I need to do is type in the name of the client that I want to test and click search. And there it is. There's the password and there's the expiration. But I can go ahead and make changes to the expiration time if I'd like right now. Or if I'm all done, I can click exit. LAPS will store that password in Active Directory, which makes it far more secure. LAPS is a great way to manage local administrator passwords in Active Directory, so you can add security to your servers and your clients.